Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another session of online classes. So for today's class, we are going to look at the structures and processes within a school. How at school normally knowledge and learning are socially constructed? So knowledge, when talking about knowledge, knowledge is something which has to be discovered, which has to be taught, and also which has to be learned. And also it is socially constructed. How is it normally socially constructed? Simply through the education system. Because certain kinds of knowledge is to be taught to students and for a specific reason. Qui fait à l'école nous montre certain type de sujet? C'est tout simplement parce que il a une raison spécifique derrière ça. Okay, so normally when we talk about the structure, the content, and the development of the curriculum of the school, it is normally influenced by power and control. Okay, so we have two explanations with regard to how power and structure tend to influence the content and the development of the school curriculum. Donc, nous avons deux explanations. Explication par rapport à comment est-ce que euh, Power avec Control li influence the school curriculum. So the first explanation is modernity and the other explanation is the schooling by I, Ivan Eilich. Okay, so now coming to modernity theory. The school as a modern institutions were developed in order to meet the needs and requirement of the modern industrial society. So normally why was school developed? C'est tout simplement to meet up the needs and requirement of the modern industrial society. Okay, it is one of the major institutions of the society. So when talking about school, according to the traditional Marxist, Education largely serves the interests of the powerful and it helps to maintain their power and control, justifies their privilege and legitimates their wealth. Okay, donc, institution de l'éducation, c'est un des main major institution according to traditional Marxists qui aider pour maintenir ben, ben euh, riche ce pouvoir et surtout ce contrôle par rapport à la société. Okay? So according to Louise Althusser, through education there is cultural reproduction, which simply involves the ability of the capitalists to pass on their political and economic domination from one generation to the next. Donc, un domaine traditionnel marxiste qui nous est c'est Louise Althusser. Pour Louise Althusser, à travers de l'éducation, nous sommes capables de faire, nous capables de maintenir cultural reproduction. C'est quoi cultural reproduction? C'est tout simplement que le ben capitaliste est capable de passer en économique domination de génération en génération. Okay? And also, education acts as an ideological state apparatus, where the teachers are the agent of ideological control and they help to transform students' consciousness into accepting the realities of their life, as well as their future social position. Donc, pour traditional Marxists, L'éducation, c'est tout simplement un ideological state apparatus. That is, it is a sort of weapon which is being used by the rich, the capitalist. And also, ben, professeur, c'est tout simplement ben, agent of ideological control. C'est ben, professeur qui normalement transforme ben, les élèves de façon de penser pour accepter la réalité de la vie. Ça veut dire tout simplement cette position de cette, ça veut dire cette future social position in the society. Meaning that if a student is supposed to be belonging to the working class, meaning that the student is accepting his situation at school, that he is failing at school. Ok, donc les enfants là, ils finissent comment ce programme, ce façon de penser pour le futur. Education system is an instrument of class oppression and domination because the bourgeoisie uses education to manipulate what 
people learn and how they learn it. Donc, on ne peut que de contrôle avec power. Ok, qui ça n'a qui plus powerful pour contrôler le système d'éducation, c'est tout simplement même capitaliste. Et aussi, ils ont le pouvoir, they have the power to manipulate the education system par rapport à qui ben personne, qui ben élève pour apprendre à l'école et comment je peux apprendre lui. Ok, so next we have Michael Young who talks about modernity. Donc, Michael Young lit ce, ce point de vue, c'est tout simplement que « Knowledge is socially constructed for a particular purpose, a specific purpose. »« The system of schooling is about providing access to the specialized knowledge that is embodied in different domains. »« That is, the way on which and how the school are organized » It simply means that knowledge can only be categorized into subjects and knowledge is represented in specific ways for the official curriculum and knowledge is to be certified for examination. Donc, pour Michael Young, knowledge is simply constructed for specific ways. Ça veut dire in a, a, a particular purpose on how knowledge is normally constructed. And the knowledge which is normally acceptable in the society, c'est tout simplement knowledge which has been converted in, into subjects at school. Ben, sujet qui nous apprend à l'école, ça même knowledge qui est acceptable at the, in the society. Et aussi, quand nous avons ce même sujet là, nous représente les par rapport à official curriculum. Et comment nous tester ça mène l'étude, ça mène euh, sujet là, c'est tout simplement par examin, euh, examination. Ça veut dire si vous êtes une euh, travail bien pour vous l'examiner, meaning that you are knowledgeable. C'est tout simplement comment est-ce que knowledge is socially constructed in the society. It is only the acceptable way. Whatever we learn at school for our subjects is something that is acceptable in the society. Okay? So furthermore, powerful groups tend to impose agreement about what knowledge is and how it can be certified and therefore this implies students can be assessed against their will, knowledge and comprehension because of them. The way school is organized is simply objective, fair, and meritocratic. Okay? Par rapport à ce qui vous apprend à l'école en termes de knowledge, c'est simplement un groupe de personnes qui peut décider par rapport à ce qui vous êtes supposé apprendre à l'école. Okay? Et comment est-ce que vous pour you will be certified, you will be assessed on it. Okay? And also, Even the students are not ready for exam, but they will be assessed against their will, knowledge and comprehension. Ça veut dire nous pas prendre en considération mes élèves de point de vue. Nous prenons en considération ce qui ben powerful group là je peux impose on a student. Ok? Mais nous faisons mes élèves penser, nous faisons mes nous we tend to the powerful group tend to brainwash the student that The education, how the school tend to operate, how the school is organized, is simply viewed as being objective, as fair and meritocratic. Okay, so a student is not going to question about how normally the school system is organized and tend to operate. Next, we have Basil Bernstein, who also talk about modernity. Donc, pour Basil Bernstein, the way knowledge is organized, this tend to affect the message that students receive about, about the purpose of education. <coughs> so, based on Bernstein classification and framing of educational knowledge, which tend to represent power and control, educational knowledge is strongly crafted classified and made up into different ways. Okay? Dans l'école, la façon knowledge is being organized, the affecté 
message qui ben élèves vous gagnez par rapport à the function of education. OK? What is the purpose of education? This tend to affect the student point of view. Et pour Basil Bernstein, il dit qu'il y a différents types de classification and framing of educational knowledge. Tout ce qu'ils apprennent à l'école, ça même qui se dit qu'il est le plus important knowledge pour les étudiants. Par exemple, à l'école, vous apprenez que il y a seulement des right réponses qui sont déjà connues, qui fait nous donner un livre. C'est tout simplement par rapport à dans sa livre. Ben, réponse qui est dans sa livre, là, ça même nous dit autres qui est bon. It is good answer. If you look for elsewhere, it is not going to be good answer. OK? And also, we tend to, at school, we tend to impose that your personal experience is irrelevant. It is not necessary. You cannot apply your personal experience in your subjects. Okay. And also, you learn that knowledge is only divided into subjects. And when you are studying one subject, the other subjects are completely irrelevant. Donc, quand nous causons côté knowledge, for each subject, we have specific knowledge. Okay. When you are studying one subject, fait que ma désolée étudier sociologie, l'économie par une langue. Ça veut dire nous nous faisons penser que Each subject is completely different and you cannot interlink different subjects together. The pop cap amit mathematics, the pop cap amit accounting, the sociology. Okay? And also, the education that only happened according to Basil Bernstein, l'education qui, qui happened at the school is the only education which is important for you, students. And also, normally, when we talk about your personal space, your personal time at school, normally, how do we decide that? It's just simply the teachers who tend to decide the time and pace of the lessons. And the pace of learning is not based on the interest of the student. For example, Astella, we prefer any subtopics of education. It's not about what the teachers have decided, but it's about what the teacher has decided. It is par rapport, c'est par rapport à qui maman peut décider. Okay, so you are not free to decide whatever you want to learn, whatever knowledge you want to learn. C'est ça Basil Bernstein, so l'idée. But we have Ivan Eilich who talks about de-schooling. De-schooling, c'est tout simplement criticism for modernity theory. Okay. Donc, Ivan uh, Eilich, l'est bien intéressé par rapport à qui raison et pourquoi le système d'éducation est développé dans la société moderne. OK? <coughs> Pardon. Et aussi, ce l'idée, c'était tout simplement que dans la société moderne, ben, l'école qui nous est aujourd'hui, c'est tout simplement une ben, pla ben, place que les ben, élèves apprennent que comment pour passer un examen. Mais ils ne pas apprendre comment pour créer des choses, how to think about problems. Ou bien comment pour même pour développer cette cette human potential, ok? So Ivan Eilish was very much interested about how and why the education system was developed in the modern society, and also he believed that the modern schools are places where students simply learn and how to pass exams rather than being taught how to create things, think about problems, or be problem solvers or develop simply their human potential. And Ivan Eilich is completely against school as an institution, and especially the professionals such as doctors and teachers. Because the idea is that schools and professionals, institutions and professionals, simply contribute to dehumanization. Okay, they are not helping the human being, but, but simply they are brainwashing human being to discover their true potential. He, state that, he stated that institutions tend to create the needs and control their satisfaction and by doing so, they turn human being and their creativity into objects. Okay? Ça veut dire pour lui, mais une institution telle que les causes de de créer certaines needs and control 
de très bonne cette année et de contrôle de bonne satisfaction tout simplement by turning human being and human being and their creativity into objects that is we tend to create the human mind into objects we tend to uh, manipulate their uh, their creativity as well as their mind and also he stated that the education has fallen into the trap of of institutionalization and therefore he thought it was very necessary to de-score the society as a whole he considered this as being essential because not only education but the social reality itself has been schooled can you because law is schooled c'est tout simplement qui nous paye we tend to shape the society in specific way. For example, at school, we tend to shape you in specific human being. We tend to specific your. We tend to spec, uh, shape your behavior in a specific way. Okay, c'est ça qu'il peut redire. So, for this process, this process tends to undermine people. It diminishes their confidence in themselves and in their capacity to solve problems. And also, this tend to colonize life into a parasite or a cancer that kills creativity. Galipekos do l'éducation kin vin en ho, which has fallen into the trap of institutionalization, c'est tout simplement qui, throughout institutionalization, a school has simply diminished students' confidence in themselves as well as has diminished their capacity to solve problems and also it has killed the creativity of student okay and also professional and institutions in uh, which they work tend to confine an activity in this case learning as a commodity we tend to see with institution with institutionalization and professional uh, professionals education has become a commodity today that is it has become something which has a price tag okay and also when we're talking about a school a school simply exists for the benefits and advancement of teaching professionals rather than those they teach Ça veut dire même professeur normalement pour Ivan Eilich, je simplement je te protège certains groupes de personnes, certains groupes d'élèves. Par exemple, they are going to protect maybe the upper class and the middle class student, and why they are disregarding the working class, because it is teacher for I, uh, Ivan Eilich, c'est professeur même qui contrôle knowledge. Et aussi, je te décide qui sont là qui pour gagner spécifique uh, qualification and certificate qui pour après pour être sa bonne future student là qui pour être sa bonne future workers là sorry to be future professionals ok ce so teachers for Ivan Eilich tend to protect their interests by using qualification only to allow certain group to access a particular professions and this implies they have control over knowledge and they decide what count as legitimate knowledge and how it can be expressed. Donc, pour Ivan, quand nous pensons que ce que tu contrôles et power, c'est ben professeur, ben professionals who have the control and power concerning the structure and organization of the school. Okay? And also, he talks that institutionalism and professionalism give specific group the power to control on how to legitimate knowledge, how legitimate knowledge can be acquired, which is only by attending school. Donc, dans la société, ben institution de l'école avec ben professional, ben a se dire que you can attain legitimate, ça veut dire legitimate knowledge only by attending school. Ça veut dire sa certificat qui se gagne à la fin de l'année là. C'est ça même qui prouve que you have gained the legitimate knowledge. And we are not going, the society is not going to look at what are your creative skills, what are your creativity. 
okay door for eyelids school are simply places where students learn only how to pass their exam rather than being taught to be creative or to become future problem solvers or simply develop their human potential okay donc l'école c'est un place qui contrôle mes élèves and place que te zit in and place qui in sa parole to know to decide what type of subject you are going to do they are going to decide what they will implement at school in order to legitimize specific knowledge okay c'est pas cette creativity qui est important c'est pour cela Ivan Eilich les comptes institutions de l'école et surtout ben professionals such as the teachers